Hello, Milesons again. Today I want to present you and show you the latest addition, and that is Laird Desert Marocaine. I'll be reviewing these two complex towers. They are absolutely my fave from the Towers collection. The hype around this fragrance is real. Leather is a Moroccan is spicy oriental fragrance. It was launched in 2005 and it was a game changer back at that time. It delivers you typical Andy Tower complexity. The one thing I admire about Andy Tower's fragrances is complexity. How he delivers the complexity from start to finish. And this fragrance delivers you spicy amber with all those woody notes, very vermeer. I like the scent profile. I like the woody notes and spicy amber, everything perfectly blended together. Rich experience. The main amber note here can be smelled right off the bat and evolving through the different phases. Tower was inspired by the Saharan Desert when you catch the waft from the, the spicy market while being present on the desert dune, dry air coming from the town into the desert. The whole Tower fragrance collection quickly became my lifetime fragrance style because of I like how he plays with the notes and with the and always delivering the complexity no matter what trends are around and if all the fragrances are still generic or unpleasant, uninteresting and is still playing and vibing with everything he does. It's complete enjoyment to wear this thing. So here's the second thing that I've mentioned in previous videos my most fake fresh incense green fragrance and that is called Uncense Rose. It was launched back in 2008. It's oriental floral fragrance starting with a fresh green cardamom transforming into the balsamic greenness with the myrrh, cedar, vetiver, labdanum, resins and it transforms from the fresh green incense into the Bulgarian rose but not wet type of or rotten rose, dry, fresh, green rose. Playing the background role, Castorium cardamom makes that complex story very beautifully. Since myrrh, cedar, labdanum, vetiver, it clicks together so nicely and so softly that you even cannot detect the particular note there. So glad to have it in my collection. Smells like nothing else in the market. The tower became my lifetime vegan zero, um, delivering something, playing and making his fragrances complete joy. The projection is more potent comparing to Levitas and Marocain. The lasting power is overwhelming. 24 hours. I'll tell you the story. I sprayed on, on my turtle neck last week, and the week after, I put it on again and I smell that Anson's rose. I didn't have any possibility to put another two sprays. That's how I imagine the, the high quality ingredients in perfume. Manzano says, to have 50 perfumes, it's a collection, it's the hobby. Having more than 50 perfumes in your collection is an obsession. That was my review, hopefully it helps you. Drop down a comment with your experiences with Andy Tower, what Andy Tower you prefer and what Andy Tower you like and why you like it and what you like about that particular fragrance. Until then, bye for now.